الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم الحميد المجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد الحمد لله we are continuing from امام النووي رحمه الله عليه book and today we are in the second last hadith of this this famous collection of this book of the hadith um, and today we are starting from hadith number 41 an abi muhammadin abdullah ibn amr ibn al-as radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la yu'minu ahadukum hatta yakuna hawahu taba'an lima ji'tu bih on the authority of abu muhammad abdullah the son of amr ibn al-as radiyallahu anhu who said the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said <coughs> none of you truly believes none of you truly believes until his inclination is in accordance with what i have brought <coughs> none of you truly believes until his inc- his inclination is in accordance with what i have brought this is a hadith uh, hasan sahih and transmitted from kitabul hujjah with a sahih chain so this hadith is giving us that how a mu'min should behave when he is confronted or he is uh, he is seeing some hukum of allah and we he is seeing some commandment from our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam <clears throat> so our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying that none of you can become a true mu'min until his inclination or until his desires everything is taba'a lima ji'tu bih means he is uh, following and his inclination has uh, become a submitted in front of all of the commandments that has been brought by our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that has been brought by our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam means all those things that have prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said means all the, all the wahi quran and also sunnah included rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam speech is wahi also whatever hadith is wahi because rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam never said anything from his own self he was saying only with the wahi so whatever prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if my inclination or my desire or my will or my free will is not submitting in front of all these things then i am not a true believer so no matter what is the hukum about it may go against society it may go against the trend whatever is the scenario a mu'min should always submit in front of allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it means imam nawawi rahmatullah alayhi is giving explanation that it means that a person must measure his deeds against quran and sunnah a person must must measure his deeds against quran and sunnah oppose his own inclination and follow what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam conveyed so he should he should oppose his own inclination means his nafs is saying to do something else but he knows that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying something else so he should do what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying and this is a similar thing what allah has mentioned in the quran wa ma kana li mu'minin wa la mu'minatin idha qada allah wa rasuluhu amran an yakuna lahum al khiyaratu min amrihim it is not for a believing man or believing woman when allah and his messenger have decided a matter that they have the choice about their affair so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this is the ruling of that one then a true believer should be accepting all those hukum of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he should not dislike it okay a muslim cannot have complete faith until he likes all that allah and his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam likes 
and then he dislikes all that they have disliked which means that sincere believer will be pleased to obey Allah and careful about doing it correctly and precisely okay and uh, there are, you will find people they say uh, I am very ashikh rasul means he is saying that I am the true lover of our prophet sallallahu but he is not following his his commandments he is not following his commandments and he is saying that I am the I am his true true lover of our Prophet I am loving him, but he is not loving him. He is not following. So, and then, uh, so this is what um, is regarding with this uh, hadith. And also, there is some uh, example of these things. Suppose about uh, so many ahkam are there. But people are not follow. Uh, people feel like it is not not good. Sometimes they have confusion. Okay, suppose regarding with the uh, issues of the inheritance law of uh, Islam, which the Orientalists and then all those uh, people who are in liberal minded, they have tried to uh, give an um, an in explanation or. I give a feeling that islam has didn't do justice for women because islam is giving a woman on the half of a boy a girl will get on the half of the boy so they will give it give these type of excuses to create some confusion among the muslims and uh, because of these things some uh, muslims also got some sort of uh, feeling that uh, maybe Islam has didn't give uh, Islam didn't did justice in these cases. So these things is very de detrimental for the belief, very detrimental for the belief for Iman, because this is actually something that he is not fully uh, submitting in front of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yes, he might have confusion, but he should not have this confusion and then he should not believe in this confusion people have may have queries that's fine but he should not be keep on going and saying something that islam did not do justice it if if someone is saying that it is very dangerous and also once it happened with one of the munafiq or someone came to professor sallam and he said to him oh professor sallam do justice do justice then Prophet Sallallahu said that if I'm not doing justice, then the nearmost meaning is if I'm not doing justice, then who is else can do justice? Because uh, Prophet Sallallahu is the most just one. And then um, also in current age, we have some problems sometimes. If you say that the, uh, Islam has allowed four wives, especially with, uh, with our sisters, Sometimes it they have it may happen that uh, they are not from their heart they are not agreeing these things that Allah has said. Yes, Allah has given certain um, uh, res not restriction certain criteria to marry for. Yes, uh, but still they are not agreeing that they are they are they are um, from their instinct they are not agreeing or allow, uh, ma making it submitting with this command. So it is very dangerous for their belief as well. Uh, he, they should have uh, uh, that belief that whatever Allah and His Prophet has said, with all those things, that is the most just one, and that is I I submit all those things. And do you remember we used to uh, recite? I don't remember. It was in our childhood. It used to say. Uh, Kalemai Tamjid or something, and then it we used to say Aman to Billahi, Kamahua bi Asmaihi, Wasifatihi, Wakabil to Jamia Ahkamihi, Warkanihi. We used to say this one. So I Aman to Billahi, Kamahua bi Asmaihi, Wasifatihi. I have believed in Allah uh, as He is with His names, with His uh, names, and with His all of His Sifat all of his uh, sifat of him i just believe as he is 
amantu billahi wa malaikatihi amantu billahi kama huwa bi asmaihi wa sifatihi wa qabiltu jami'a ahkamihi wa arkanihi means i am accepting all of the ahkam and arkan of him i am accepting all of those things so that is the true submission we should have so this is what uh, the true message of this uh, of this um, hadith and uh, also professor allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that man yut'i rasul faqad ata'a allah those who are obeying prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so and uh, all of the door of jannah has been closed except the door of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's following so there is no other way now to go to jannah after prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has appeared in this dunya and then uh, there is no other way left to accept to accept the teaching of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we should be following his uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's sunnah in our day to day life and we should be conveying this message to others may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik